If you are going through stress or anxiety or depression in your life, or if you have a tough time in your life, here is one thing that you have to remember. You are not all alone in this world. Don't think that you don't have help. Don't think that no one is caring about you. The truth is, there are people who can help you and who are willing to help you. All you got to do is just step a little outside and seek for the help from correct people and from the correct places. So when the life throws challenges towards us, when there is tough times in life, we tend to think that we are the only person who is going through depression, anxiety or stress or problems. But the truth is, if you see the world, there are millions and millions of people who are struggling and who are suffering in this life, right? We all struggle in our lives to live in this world, right? So it is not your suffering. It is not only my suffering. It is our suffering. We all are suffering in this world. The Buddha said, where there is birth, there is suffering. That is the reality. But we don't want to think about this suffering as something negative, right? It is not the suffering that makes us negative. It is the perspective that we are holding on to suffering makes us negative, right? So, today I'm not here to talk about depression and how to quit the depression. Today I'm going to share with you a simple Buddhist practice that can help you in healing this depressive thoughts or anxious thoughts or any kind of mental suffering that you're having. And this practice is called becoming mindful about your thoughts, right? Becoming mindful about your thoughts. In Satipatthana Sutta, Buddha explains this as Chitthanupassana. So how can we practice becoming mindful about our thoughts? It is very simple, right? You can do this practice whenever you want or wherever you want. It is free. You totally have the freedom to do it, right? Here's how we can do this. And when we become mindful about our thoughts, what we are doing is we are not judging our thoughts and also we are not trying to stop our thoughts, but we constantly become aware of what we are thinking, what comes to our mind. So all you got to do is just you can sit down or you can do this while walking, while traveling in the bus or wherever you want. Just ask from yourself that what am I thinking? Then you will come across with these thoughts, right? So what we have to do is whenever you become depressed, whenever you feel anxious about yourself, whenever you feel sad about something, what you have to do is just notice it. Notice it as a thought. Because most of the time, we judge ourselves by thoughts. We are thinking about ourselves as our thoughts. But remember, you are not your thoughts. When you become more mindful, it gives you this ability to separate yourself from your thoughts. Right? So we don't want to judge ourselves by our thoughts. What we are doing is we become mindful. We become more aware of our thoughts without judging. It is very simple. It's like this. It's like you're watching a traffic pass by sitting beside the road. You can see cars are going. You can see bikes are going, vans, buses, cargo carriers. There are so many vehicles that are going. All you're doing is you're just watching them. You're just noticing them, right? But most of the time what happens is we become more afraid about these vehicles and we try to jump into the middle of the road and we are trying to stop these things, right? That is what you are doing. That is what we are doing when we become depressed or sad. 
when these sad and depressed thoughts haunt our mind, what we are doing is we are trying to fight it, we, we are trying to suppress them, we are trying to stop them. The more you try to stop these thoughts, it will come again and again. Remember that. So all you got to do is we are not going to fight them, we are not going to stop them, we are noticing them, right? You can do this. Just ask this simple question from you. What am I thinking? Then you will find that, oh, my thoughts are depressed. It is not me that is depressed. My thoughts are depressed, right? So what is the nature of a thought? It will come and it will stay for a while in your mind and it will fade away. That is the nature of the thought. So it is just a thought that means you are not the depression, you are not the anxiety, and you are not the stress. Remember, if you feel hopeless, if you feel that you are not good enough, don't believe what your mind always says. You are more capable than you think. You are more good than you think, right? So what is holding back us is this little frame that we are having in, inside our mind that I am not good enough. I cannot do these things. I'm not capable of doing these things. I'm hopeless. No one is going to help me. If you change that mindset one day, remember, you can do better and you can do more than you think. So please don't think that you are not good enough. I repeat again that you are more capable of doing things more than you think, right? So believe in it and work for it. So if you're going through painful situations and if you're having painful memories about yourself, don't run away from them. Don't be afraid of them. Remember, pain is a part of growing, right? If you want to grow, sometimes you have to go through pain. Most of the time you have to go through pain. So if you practice these mindful exercises and if you seek for the help and if you do this proper medication for your mental suffering, then one day for sure you are going to be okay. You are going to be happy in your life. And this is the best part of recovering from these uh, traumatic and painful situations. What is that? you can help someone who is in the same place as you were. You can say that do these things, practice these things, think like this because I know the pain that you are going through because I was a person like you. But I am recovered now. You also can recover yourself. So you can inspire others and you can help others and then you will find the real value of your life. So please do not think that you are not good enough. You're more than enough than you think. So remember these things and practice these things in your life. And I wish you all, may all of you find the real happiness in your life. Namo Buddhaya.